<laughs> Bye. <laughs> Hi there and welcome to Vera Online with Joy. Um, so today I just wanted to talk about um, some of the things that you shouldn't be afraid of. You know, um, recently on my birthday, I tried to write down a few things that I thought maybe would be important to share with, with you at some point and I felt like now was the right time um, to share that. So I just wanted to share a few things that I thought would be important for you especially if you're in your 20s um, on the things that you shouldn't be afraid of and the first one is being yourself I think so many times especially people in their 20s live their lives wanting to please others live their lives wanting to please people um, trying to please people is not really going to help you because at the end of the day um, when you retire back home and realize that you know what you're actually not feeling yourself like what you did you did for somebody just because you wanted to impress them but you should never forget that being 100% you is what actually attracts you to the people that you interact with so take note of that um, secondly you should learn to stand up for yourself and stand up for others as well um, there are so many times uh, we get into situations where either we're being manipulated we're being exploited and we tend to take it in because we think that <clears throat> you know it's it's something that you're going to learn out of you know it's it's an experience you're hoping to learn from and so you tend to let people manipulate you so i'm trying to tell you that you actually don't have to do that because much later in your life when you look back you'll actually say oh i shouldn't have let that happen and it happens to us especially in our workplaces where we take on too much um, than we should be taking in and then later we tend to regret oh you know what i should have done it the other way so make sure that you and your life you can create boundaries for yourself um, because when you create these boundaries it also kind of lets people know that listen when it comes to joy you don't cross this line because there's nothing that she takes if you're going to tell her this she's going to say no if you tell her that she's going to agree to it so people actually know um, your your character and I think standing up for yourself kind of brings that out the more uh, thirdly I think that being honest is one of the most important things that I've learned over the years um, throughout my career throughout my interaction with friends I've actually learned that being honest is one of the most important things you can you can do for yourself it not only helps you it helps the people that you're interacting with because they don't have to hurt your feelings but make sure you do it be honest in a way that doesn't hurt the feelings of other people okay also getting rejected um, many times a lot of people fear rejection or they're so afraid of rejection every time um, you try out a business venture or every time you put down a business proposal or any time you probably ask a girl out or <laughs> ask a boy out I don't know what it is and uh, you are rejected a lot of us tend to hold this with with so much uh, pity on ourselves that we don't even get the energy or the guts to do anything else so if it would be possible for you to learn you know that rejection is is a process of life I think it would help you deal with other difficult more difficult challenges because I can tell you for free that there is no successful person who has not been rejected at some point in their lives they've been rejected so understanding that is also a part of life um, being criticized is something that we tend to be afraid of but remember there's two kinds of criticism there's positive criticism and then there's negative criticism uh, when people criticize you, it's not always that they wish you bad sometimes it's just that they want you to do better and so they are trying to point out the things that if you worked on you would actually be a much better person or you would do your work much better or maybe you would improve your character if that's what you're working on at a certain phase in your life so being criticized is actually not always a bad thing what you need to be cautious of 
is the negative criticism if the so always be cautious of who is criticizing you most times a lot of criticism is actually from people who want to see you doing better in life or from people who would wish for you to correct certain mistakes um, that you're doing either in the workplace or even with your character so when they criticize you it's not always that they're wishing you bad but they just want to see you do better then there are those of course who will have negative criticism and you just need to be aware of who they are and what their motives could be because sometimes people criticize us because they want to be us or yeah if you get the, if you get what I'm saying um, then making mistakes I think a lot of us young people tend to fear to make mistakes we want to get everything right that you know we're always even afraid to make certain moves because we think we're going to make mistakes but i think that when we do that we actually do not know the potential that we have many times we make mistakes because out of mistakes we learn lessons those lessons help us to know what we're good at and what we're bad at so making mistakes is actually a way of life from my perspective i look at it as a way of life um, um, another thing we shouldn't be afraid of is apologizing many times I think apologizing is one of the most difficult things that we young people, not even just young people, but all people find so difficult to do. Um, apologizing for something when you're wrong, I think is, is just one of those things that has to be taught every single time. People think that when they apologize, there's a part of them that's taken away, like power is taken away from them, which is actually not always the case. Um, saying sorry, apologizing to your boss, apologizing to your colleague, even if it's an intern at work, or apologizing to your partner, your spouse, your, your, your house help or your house manager, it's always um, a sign that you actually are human and uh, people make mistakes people say wrong things every now and again and then they apologize so apologizing is also something you should never be afraid of because guess what an apology <laughs> can sometimes get you an opportunity that you'd never saw coming another thing you shouldn't be afraid of is f uh, failing we try some things, sometimes they work out, sometimes they don't work out, um, but the way we perceive or the way we take the result of something when we fail at it, sometimes gets us down. Uh, we always tend to think that nothing will ever work in our lives. We are adults, we are now grown up, yet life is not working. But guess what? Failure is also a part of life and life is a journey. So every time you think, okay, you know what? I'm not going to try this because it's going to fail. Think about what if you had tried it and it worked out, you know? So think about that as well, uh, which brings me to my next point, taking risks. You know, we are so afraid to take risks because mostly we are afraid that it's going to fail. Whatever we are going to try out is going to fail. But also think about what if, let me put it this way, um, when you envision your life, at a successful point in your life what kind of life do you envision what kind of life do you see at that point where you're at the peak of your career you're at the peak of your life and you're living the good life what do you picture and then think about the kind of life you'd live if you didn't go after what you wanted to go after that would actually be a, a best way to um, explain taking risks because when you take risks you're not taking a risk because you know you want to end your life because taking risks is just also a part of life and life is a journey that you keep walking and walking and walking every now and again so take a risk yes there's a probability of it turning the other way but there's also a much bigger probability of it turning out positive and when it turns out positive you know that you're going to be in a much better place yeah um, moving on learn to move on do not be afraid to move on um, because being loyal to people who only deserve it 
is much more coming for you it's good for your sanity it's good for your mental health so learn to move on because if you don't learn to move on you're going to be stuck in the past wishing that things had been better wish, wishing that things had changed and they probably haven't changed so what option do you have you either stay in that situation that you're in because you failed to move on or try something new you know it just might be today that you're thinking of trying something and there's something holding you back so i want to tell you to go ahead and try it um, i hope that has helped somebody out there to figure out their lives so um until the next one thank you all for watching and don't forget to subscribe